Good morning, everyone. It is 7.49 a.m. Tuesday morning. I'm off work. <laughs> so, uh, as usual, we have to take care of baby Bella. I'm going to uh, clear her litter box out. So we're going to do that first. So I've had this bed for seven, eight, nine, ten, a little over a week now. And I have to say, man, I am sleeping really, really well on this bed. It is a world of difference sleeping on this bed as compared to sleeping on the floor. <laughs> so uh, the bed was definitely a good investment. And uh, one more payment, it will be paid off. And I love it, man. Bella even likes it. She sleeps under the bed. She sleeps on top of the bed. She even slept on top of the bed with me one time. Now, she wasn't sleeping in her recliner until I sat in it last week. Then she started sleeping in it again. So I guess that's her way of telling me that it's not mine. It's still hers. So, yeah. <laughs> Bella still refuses to let me have the recliner back. But that's okay. Yeah, we're going to clean her litter box out and uh, cook some breakfast here. Oh, boy. Oh, I thought I just heard baby Bella. Yes, I did. Hey, Bella. Pretty girl. Baby Bella. Baby Bella. I see you tail wagging. <laughs> Silly cat. Alright, so I don't have any shows to watch at the moment. In the morning, after I finish Doogie Hauser, like I said last week, I tried to get into NYPD Blue and I just could not do it. So I've been watching classic WWF, like late 80s, early 90s. Finished Royal Rumble 91 the other day. Um, did not like Sergeant Slaughter beating Ultimate Warrior for the world title. Um, I am a firm believer that the main event of WrestleMania 7 should have been a rematch between Hogan and Warrior, but that's my opinion. Let me turn this around here. Yeah, and uh, try not to drop the camera. That would be bad. Bella, we're going to clean out your litter box, pretty girl. What you doing? Bella. Baby Bella. She's not paying me any any mind. She does not want to hear it this morning. <laughs> so the daylight saving time has messed up has messed around with Bella. Because usually she gets her treats at 8 p.m. Um, that's when we give them to her at night. So at 7 p.m., it used to be 8 p.m., so 7 p.m., she's in there meowing for her treats. I'm like, no, oh, baby Bella. Time changed. I give them to her anyway because she's so spoiled. Oh, boy. She mostly uses the bathroom in the middle of the night. She doesn't really go to the bathroom during the day. But she mostly does everything in the middle of the night. Go to the bathroom, eat, drink. Mostly in the middle of the night. Alright, so... That's done. So I'll go out here, wash my hands, and... Get breakfast started. <sighs> Got off work late today. Got off around 6:30, so one of the guys called out. So we had a had a bit more to do than usual, but it's more money, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> not complaining at all. Let's hang that up. All right, so. Uh, I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll get the stuff sorted out for breakfast. I think I'm. Do we have any muffins? Yeah. I think I'm just gonna have uh, egg and cheese muffins. I don't feel like cooking the breakfast scramble this morning. Um, 
Egg and cheese muffins will be good. What? What are you throwing a fit about? What? 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 Oh, you see birds. Yeah, you see birds out there, huh? Yeah. You see birds. Bella saw some birds outside. She got excited. <laughs> All right, let me wash my hands. Let me get this stuff set up. All right, so we're just going to melt this butter here. And when this is done, we'll put our eggs in there, we'll break the yolk, cook the eggs, put the English muffins in the toaster. Yeah, simple and easy and fast. Alright, so we'll put the eggs in here. I'll be back. Alright, break these yolks. Now I was told that the farmers who sell their eggs they can't sell their double yolks, the the double yolk eggs, for whatever reason. I, I don't know why. I would love to have a double yolk. That's like winning the food lottery. <laughs> oh, man. But I, I don't remember what the reason was that they couldn't sell the, uh, the double yolk eggs. That's just weird. I would, I'd buy them. Shoot. Oh my goodness, I want to make my boring burritos tonight. So, yeah. Get these tortilla shells out that will fall out while I'm sleeping during the day. There we go. Hi, Bella. Hey, pretty girl. Hi. Well, hello. What? All right, let's get you off the counter. I'll be back. Now, of course, when you're having egg and cheese muffins, and there's the English muffins out of the toaster, it is essential to have a glass of ice cold chocolate milk. I think these are about ready to flip, and um, I'll be back when it's done. Alright, so we're going to get some uh, classic WWF going here. The old Blu-ray player, the old uh, flash drive. Hi, Bella. There's my good girl. Oh man. So like I guess I finished watching Raw Rumble 91 over the weekend, and I'm gonna talk about that when I'm done eating breakfast. Royal Rumble 92, let's watch Royal Rumble 92. Um The only thing I remember about the 92 Royal Rumble is that the winner would become WWF champion and Ric Flair won. That is the only thing I remember about the 92 Royal Rumble. All right, let's get a copyright claim here. <laughs> Rick Martel. Oh, God, the berserker. Hush, hush. Oh, God, Repo Man. <laughs> repo, 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 man. Oh my God, Skinner. <laughs> oh man, I remember him. Oh, 
<laughs> well, if they are, uh, this might make it into the vlog if they don't block the video. Let me eat breakfast, let me watch a little bit of this, and uh, we'll be back to talk about the 91 Rumble. Alright, so, earlier I was talking about the Royal Rumble 1991. Um, yeah, I was not a fan of Sergeant Slaughter beating the Ultimate Warrior for the WWF Championship. That, I was so bad when that happened. Because Sergeant Slaughter, you, I really... I don't know about any of you all, but I really didn't consider him a main event player. I didn't think of Sergeant Slaughter as main event caliber. I mean, yeah, you had him turning on his country and supporting Saddam Hussein in Iraq, you know, the whole Gulf War thing, so let's play it out in wrestling, because why not? But even with that, I just didn't see him as a main event guy. Like, as <laughs> I know this is going to sound weird because Ultimate Warrior was not the greatest wrestler. But I didn't see him as being on the same level as the Warrior. Like, Warrior was WWF champion, he's up here. I'm like, when they announced the match, I was like, man, he's going to destroy Sergeant Slaughter. Like, why is Sergeant Slaughter even in this match? And, you know, the whole thing, it seemed like the whole thing <coughs> of, um, <coughs> excuse me, the whole point of having Sergeant Slaughter beat the Ultimate Warrior was to put the belt back on Hogan at WrestleMania. I'm like, if if you wanted to put the belt back on Hogan, you could have had the Warrior Hogan 2 at WrestleMania, which would have been a much bigger match, gotten much more attention, probably would have made a hell of a lot more money than Sergeant Slobber, good lord. It would have made a whole lot more money than Sergeant Slaughter versus Hulk Hogan. I, I I don't know, man. I just I am a firm believer in that the main event of WrestleMania 7 should have been Hogan Warrior 2. And if you wanted to put the belt back on Hogan, have him beat uh, Warrior clean. But yeah, I don't know, man. I just I wasn't a fan of uh, Sergeant Slaughter in the main event scene. Okay, hey, what I'm about to say next, I'm sure is gonna make a lot of people mad. Probably get some heat for this. I was never a fan of Ric Flair. I never saw the greatness in Ric Flair. I'm serious. Everyone talks about Ric Flair's one of, if not the greatest wrestler of all time. I don't see it. I never have seen it. I never will see it. I've seen his NWA matches, WCW matches, WWF, WWE matches, and I. I don't know, man. I don't see what's so special about Ric Flair. I really, honest to God, don't. I've never seen what was so special about Flair. I just, to me, he's one of the most overrated, if not the most overrated wrestlers in the history of the sport. Um, that's just my opinion. I've never seen what, the, what was so special about the guy. I don't know. That's just me. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are, you know, angrily typing at their keyboards right now. You're not a real wrestling fan. You're a moron. Huh? This is my opinion, man. I've, I've never seen what the big deal. I've never seen. I just, I don't see it in Ric Flair. Never have. Never will. I just, I just think he's one of, if not the most overrated wrestler of the world. I never saw what the big deal about him was. I never saw this greatness that everyone else saw in him. That's just me. All right, so now we've pissed a bunch of people off. <laughs> so, uh, <coughs> <coughs> so my throat is doing much better, even though I'm coughing a little bit. It's like itches in the morning when it's cold. But uh, I haven't had the uh, gurgling in the throat all week, which is awesome. I've been sleeping really well. But yeah, um, so my mom watches my vlogs, and last week she said, you were so upbeat in the video, finally, it was good to see you, you were like, hi everyone, instead of, hi everyone, it made no sense to me whatsoever, I always, I'm always upbeat when I do the videos, at least I think, I thought I was, 
Uh, apparently, according to her, I'm sad, I'm either sad or depressed or both when I make these vlogs. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I always thought I was in a good mood when I did them, but apparently not. <laughs> so I don't know. It didn't make much, too much sense to me. So anyway, uh, watching the Royal Rumble 92, I'm going to watch this one more match here, and then I'm going to, uh, I don't know, man, I'm getting tired. I might go to bed early. It's the uh, WWF Tag Team titles are on the line. Legion of Doom is defending against the Natural Disasters, Earthquake, and Typhoon. And I forgot that the Mountie was Intercontinental Champion. Uh, he lost the Intercontinental title to Roddy Piper earlier in the event in a really short match. Um, yeah, I forgot. the Mount I don't even remember the Mountie being Intercontinental Champion until I just saw this. I know Roddy Piper had the Intercontinental title and he lost it to Bret Hart at WrestleMania 8, but uh, I didn't realize that he had beaten the Mountie to become Intercontinental Champion. So yeah, um, it's, it's been fun watching these old pay-per-views. I'm going to get some more, man. I'm going to end up taking them off of Flash Drive and putting them on DVD so I can keep them. I like having these, I like having these Coliseum video versions. They're, they're what they call restored. Where they kind of, it's the Coliseum video home version, but they they get the color and the picture looking as clear as possible. So it's awesome, man. Looking forward to putting these on DVD. So anyway, let me finish watching this match and um, I'll either find something to do or I'll just go to bed. We'll see. Alright. It's time for my least favorite part of cooking, washing dishes. <laughs> so let me get these uh, dishes washed. We'll be back. All right, that is done. Dishes have been washed, dried, and put away. <sighs> least favorite part. So we're gonna go in the room. <coughs> I think I'm gonna go to bed. 10 15 a.m. So, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. Probably sleep till about 6 30. Oh, look at the baby. Look at the baby. Hi, Bella. Hey, pretty girl. So, yeah, this is cool. I I let my phone charge on the headrest here. Just plug it in there. I like that. I don't have to worry about baby Bella chewing my cord. My pretty girl. You ready for a nap? Yeah. Me too, Bella. Me too. So we just plug this in here. Plug that into the phone. One handed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me put the camera down. Just for a minute. Alright, and there we go. Phone is charged. Oh, I did want to show y'all something. So last week I said I wanted to get a mannequin head to put my Michael Myers mask on. And I was going to display it there, but I got the mannequin head. And I just, I don't know. I don't like how that looks. Looks like Michael Myers gained about 45 pounds. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't like how that looks. But at least the mask isn't just laying down, all crumpled up. But I don't know. <clears throat> so I was gonna play some World of Warcraft, but uh, they have a new patch being released today. But they're doing maintenance on the servers until about 6 p.m. It said. So I'll play it a little bit later tonight, since I'm off work. I did start playing World of Warcraft again. I've been putting some, uh, <clears throat> it's mostly like older content, trying to get mount drops. I put some videos up. I don't know how many people watch, but 
got back into it. Um, the only new content that I play is like single player stuff, stuff I can do on my own. I don't do any of the new new content dungeons or raids anymore because 99% of the World of Warcraft community is absolute garbage. They are toxic as hell. They are rude. They are not good people. And the new content raids and dungeons are just full of people talking trash to each other, arguing, cussing each other out, and it's just like, you know, why waste my time with it, man? It's like you're in there and they want you to know exactly what to do on all the encounters, even if it's your first time in there. They want you to go to YouTube, learn the fights, and then play the game. Like, I'm not doing that. Even if I do watch it on YouTube, that's... <laughs> The, I mean, watching on YouTube and actually being in the dungeon in the middle of the fight are two totally different things. I'm going to react differently than how whoever is doing the tutorial on YouTube is. Then they complain about, you know, if people aren't doing enough damage, they start cussing about that. They start cussing about healers not healing enough. They cuss about the tanks not... Ugh, it's just ridiculous, man. Like, the community is so childish and toxic. It's It's... Yeah, the new Dungeons and Raids, I don't even bother with them. I do the older content that I can go in and solo and do my myself. I do have a friend that plays, so when our schedules align and allow it, we'll go in, we'll do older stuff together, but I, I don't I do not do new stuff. Like new Dungeons and new Raids. Any new content that has to be done with the group, I, I just I don't bother with it. Because, like I said, the community is garbage. It's sad but true. So anyway, yeah. 10:20 a.m. I think I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna go to bed, take a nap. So uh, probably be up around six, six thirty. Get a good eight hours of sleep, hopefully. Hi, baby Bella. Baby Bella's looking like if you don't stop talking and let me sleep. <laughs> All right, everyone. So I'll see you when I wake up. Um, Here's hoping for some good sleep. All right, everyone, it is 6.28 p.m. Got eight hours of wonderful sleep. <laughs> Told you I, I sleep good on this new bed, man. So uh, eight hours of sleep, I feel great. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go out front. I'm gonna watch last night's episode of Monday Night Raw. I'm gonna uh, make the boring burritos. And um, we'll go from there. And I just want to say, I absolutely love how it gets dark at 5.30 p.m. now. I love it. Just a few months ago, the sun was still out at 8.30 p.m. and that sucked. So now it gets dark at 5.30 p.m. I love it. <laughs> right at the top step at the door. Bella. It's just a cat. <laughs> we have a cat that comes to the back door and gets on the top step 
and Bella does not like that at all. Every night she growls, smacks the glass door. She doesn't like other cats. Bella. All right, everyone, it is 10.06 p.m. We're going to uh, see if World of Warcraft is done with the server maintenance and see if we can play this new content. see this new content I mean they had new content up there today but they were still working on the server maintenance until supposedly 6 p.m. so uh, we'll see if they're done oh boy hopefully it's not a bunch of stuff you have to be in a group to do uh, that's gonna suck Y'all don't need to see my password. Alright, I'll go ahead and do this and I'll be back with you. everyone it is 3 16 a.m. and I think that's gonna do it for this week's vlog I was only gonna play World of Warcraft for a little while ended up playing for quite a few hours <laughs> um, I pretty much improved every single slot of gear I had uh, my item level was a 397 at the beginning of the week it is now 418 so yeah I went up 21 item levels <laughs> I'm happy so yeah, that's going to do for this week's vlog. So, on behalf of myself and baby Bella, who is still sleeping in my her recliner, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all have a good rest of your week, and we'll see you for Saturday Night Horror. Y'all take care.